This is no bullshit gaming podcast, two and a half gamers. Sharing actionable insights, dropping knowledge from our day-to-day user acquisition, game design, and ad monetization jobs. We are definitely not discussing the latest industry news, but having so much fun. Let's not forget this is a 4 a.m. conference discussion vibe, so let's not take it too seriously. Okay, yeah, I think we can start. Okay, we can start. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. We can start. Um, so, hello. Uh, this is a session, I think it's, we can call it special session, which is, uh, we're talking about Mo Co from Supercell. And uh, we did it before, uh, again, with Supercell games, <laughs> with Squadbusters and Flood Rush. Now we're talking about Mo Co. And my name is Matija Lancharic. I'm Felix Broberg. And I'm Jakub Remiar. We are your hosts. And I'm the gamer here. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to play again. And uh, then we're going to talk about uh, what is this game. Uh, about as well. Yeah, we, we really need to talk fast about these Supercell <laughs> games because you never know when they get killed. <laughs> yes, maybe <laughs> next we week. Did with Flood Rush. <laughs> yeah, I was quite uh, a surprise when they killed it, but then uh, we'll see. Maybe it's going to happen mm. to this game as well. This is much ambitious, to be honest. <laughs> much um, more ambitious. Well, why do you think so? Mm. Yeah, should we start then? We can, <laughs> of course. Like we are already talking about. We've already about started, it. man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Come on. So let's let's start. You can go into somewhere and like uh, display <laughs> your your skill, Captain oh, Paramir. <laughs> no, no, no. The thing is, I'm gonna just uh, finish these missions because that's uh, where I get experience. Yeah. So and I need that for leveling up. So the thing is, uh, pretty much an isometric uh, action RPG. Um, closest reference to like. People would be like something like Diablo. Ooh, I would say. Ooh, it, it, oh. it is literally like that. Like, ah, okay. Could be. It's an action RPG and it's isometric view and it's mobile adjusted, of course. It's not that heavy as Diablo, but it's mobile. So uh, that's there. It's heavy PvE focused, meaning that most of the content is either you uh, against like computer or pretty much like environment or you with your friends against the environment which is the definition but i have of no PvE. i have no friends on... yeah. so there's, there's i'll match, be your friend matchmaking yeah. for these people uh so they they have that and this is one of my first takes here that all of the supercell current successful games are pvp based heavily they don't so have a PvE. So it's quite different, yes. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was saying, quite different, because they don't have a PvE game. That, that like Most of their games is like, it's PvP. And PvP is things that brings money because people compete with their wallets. Oy, 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 oy. But it's hard, of course, it's hard. It's very hard to do. Yeah, but Are you only going to run away from monsters, or are you actually going to kill someone? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'll be killing, killing monsters. <laughs> So now I know why you don't uh, they get these invites because you're mean. Yeah. You're mean to people. Yeah, so it's as I said, heavy PVE based. Uh, there's this kind of linear, nonlinear progression of a, yeah, I wouldn't call it saga map, but it's like yeah, linear journey of chapters of locations that Mati is currently running in, where there's this kind of nonlinear location that you need to go into and collect mission in, which is. Quite a big area, actually. I think for each location, it's like, a very big map, actually. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, you need a, you can see that there's a mini map, uh, the usual overlay, the one that's missing in Diablo, by the way. <laughs> kill, kill for this thing. Um, so yeah, there's exploration involved, and it's definitely not just linear. Uh, the raids or like other content that we see in the game is linear, meaning that's like a one-way corridor, which is good. But this seems more of like jumping between locations when you're collecting or doing those missions and unlock unlocking progression. So that's there. Uh, again, this is quite similar to like any action RPG on the market, like even like Path of Exile or Lost Ark, I would say, even on the PC market, of course. Mm. Um, so yeah, sounds to me like the usual Supercell playbook when they take something that works very well on the market already and they, they iterate it, adjust it for mobile, make it much more streamlined, uh, approachable, like intuitive to play and stuff like that. That that's, that's their usual thing. Like That's what they did with Brawl Stars, taking on the MOBA genre. That's what they did when they took uh, 
Clash of Clans from Backyard Monsters from I, Browser. Yeah, you never say that. <laughs> you, should, you should never say that. You should never. Say that. And then uh, Clash Royale was their invention. I don't know anything close to that, but it was that like synchronous multiplayer that they did there and on mobile. Yeah, but this seems to me like like the same approach, which is like they're they're best at it. Literally taking something that works and making it like hundred twenty percent instead of hundred percent. And then uh, the other important thing, and as I was looking into it, this game works on the premise of the usual action RPG Trinity, or let's say RPG Trinity of tank, heal, uh, DPS, which is again a little bit different than your current kind of Diablo thing. This is actually a little bit closer to something like World of Warcraft, mm. where you have characters that are specialized in taking the damage and like keeping the attention of the monsters. Those are tanks. Then you have the healers that are the ones that are mainly supporting your teammates with healing their HP. And then you have the DPS ones, which are the ones that are actually killing the monsters. But they need the other two uh, to sustain. Yeah. Otherwise, they get killed pretty fast. Yeah, fast. that's that's why we usually sucked in the the hard raid because I didn't have <laughs> any cooperation. <laughs> any, yeah, any cooperation, anyone is like four random people just running around and getting killed, basically. Yeah, this is this is really hard because this is as, as I said, like let's say Diablo or even Pedro Exile, they don't have this thing. Like every every character there is kind of self sustainable, and you don't really need this. There's even like some hardcore people try to emulate this, but there's not this trinity. There's not specialized items for this and that. But here, it's kind of must thing to do, similar to Lost Ark, where there are again like same mechanic raids. Uh, Lost Ark is a very popular uh, action RPG in Asia. It's still very popular even in the West after the Western release on Steam. Uh, they have exact same progression where you go through these locations that you slowly unlock the meta game for. Then you have these big raids where you need to have very, very big amount of cooperation. And I, I, I'm a, let me just give you one example. There's like a raid based on a chess team where you need to align the rook with the queen or whatever the monsters in the mm -hmm. same line. Otherwise, you cannot kill them. Mm -hmm. So literally, like two tanks, one needs to take the one one boss, the other the other boss, and then people kind of are killing it in between. So mm. that's the can level you, of can you equip the techno gloves? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can equip the techno gloves. Techno gloves are quite good. So I have I have checked some videos on on the internet and the end game, or let's say the current end game content that we see in the beta here is also raids or some kind of a four man uh, dungeons that that they are, have there. Um, yeah, maybe Mati, tell us your experience with those and you dying gloriously with the matchmaking. No, so, uh, yeah, uh, it's not a very good experience because I tried and, uh, and I can try again now uh, because this raid, I mean, obviously quite a few of them, but this one is especially uh, hard. And when we just hit the, the, the final boss, we just can't. You, you will you will see i mean you will mm. see i mean i now kind of equipped the techno goals but i don't know so um, as i was looking as i said uh, on the internet throughout these um they can get very very hard especially at the like end of the content that they currently uh, provide in beta so it's it says it's level 50 but uh oh yo, yo, there you go oh, wow. just, no yeah it's this is the the classic Diablo like uh, experience: someone <laughs> dies and then explodes afterwards. And I just, uh, I just was thinking about the co content, and it's like, oh well, <laughs> <laughs> you should have evaded, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I didn't have a chance to to, yeah. uh, to run. But it, it is quite kind of forgiving. Like if if I understood correctly, if only one player still is, is still standing, everybody can get to the cooldown exactly, timer and yeah. resurrect. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's 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 how no it problem. works. The, the need, other problem is the one. the end range timer on the top. I guess that's yes. the bigger problem. Uh, so have... For those not familiar, end range timers, like even in World of Warcraft and all these other MMOs, those are the timers that pretty much determine uh, that you need to do something until that point where the monsters get so hard that you cannot do anything and they'll just ruffle stomp you. <laughs> pretty much, that's that's what's gonna happen uh, very quickly. I don't think that we're gonna. Uh, yeah. for this uh, yeah actually anyway. this mechanic is like a dps check in a way like a or gear check i would say like if you don't have your gear at some level that's required by the raid you cannot but, do enough damage in that time frame and then you get killed by the monsters yeah but the thing enraged. is like you can upgrade the the gear 
uh, but all it, that's tied to your level as well. So you can't you can't upgrade uh, f to eternity, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah like of course. Your level determines the upgrade level of your gear. But th that's also, I think, like a kind of a gating or let's say hand-helding mechanic where you can just invest into one piece all your resources and yeah. you need to yeah, spread yeah. it out throughout all of those. So that that's good. Okay. Um, as I as I look through the resource flows in the economy, so there's this Mo coin, which is I guess the hard currency, or kind of acts like a hard currency. Yeah. The sh the shop is very very rudimentary currently. There's just I mean, like two items like in two the shop. Items. It's just beta shop. Um, no purchases are allowed currently, if I understand correctly. No, They're no, not really no, testing yeah. any monetization or nothing there. Um, so you have the beta, small coin. So what yeah, do, it's what do very, very for? big beta. Not even a soft launcher, I would say. So we are here. We are. This is the the main boss, which we are gonna get. Do you think they'll add more currencies or? Oh, yeah, definitely. They yeah. But it's just that, as I said, they have this hard currency. Uh, it it works a little bit like Honkai Star Rail in a way that I would guess most of the like free currency is locked between these fixed chests that you have in the locations that are. Uh, hidden, and you need yeah, to you, explore you need to those. Find, and yeah, you need to find there's it. like ten chests in each uh, level, and I think there's like five uh, hard currency gems in each of those. Ten. And then, or ten, ten. Ten. Sorry. Yeah. But eventually, if you run out of content, you get you you don't get that from anywhere else. And this is kind of similar to Honkai Star Rail, where like in the beginning, when you are defeating the single player easy content, you are kind of swimming in resources and upgrading everything, and then when and content dries up, also your Fucking resource hell. gain dries up with it. So, because that's that's the similar case with like any mobile RPGs. So that's there. Uh, the other interesting thing is that they already are trying their subscription there, or however oh. it's called, like Moco Plus. Moco Plus, we'll get there. Yeah. Uh, like for now, you it can. It looks promising. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it seems like you can maybe make it like one yeah, minute. We'll see. Are you gonna do we'll, it? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Never got this far <laughs> <laughs> before. So, so yeah, but but oh, but the rates and like oh, whoa, the, the yeah. difficulty <laughs> of it seems seems quite like uh, high even for a mobile RPG. I would say it's kind of on par with some of the things I've seen on PC. So they are really really taking this much more core than I expected Ooh. because the it's not about really like the gear and stuff. It's about like the required level of cooperation of your team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, Th that's the hardest part here. Fucking oh, Jesus. You're going to do it. Hey, hey. hey. Yes, nice. nice. See? A little help you from go. your friends. Yeah, thank <laughs> we you, We want guys. some of the XP, man. <laughs> thank you, thank you oh, guys. So you <laughs> unlock the mount. Yeah, we can, yes. we can showcase this. Uh, oh. there's, there's mounts in the game because I guess there's locations that's going to be even bigger. Honestly, this like victory screen, I have no idea what's what's happening in here. So boss damage this is like what? the the usual kind of Overwatch. Like you want to okay. make everyone feel good, so you pick a stat from the from random, random parameters stat. that, okay. that I someone feel, was first I have, in. Yeah, I have no stats, so I feel like shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have the I have the mount, so that, that's what. Yeah, it's nice IAP you can do to fix yeah, that. Can you stop here? Can you stop here? Yes. Uh, just one 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 thing. Like the other important thing is that the XP you get, and this is the main gating mechanism of the game, is mainly from missions, missions and challenges. Yeah. If you don't have those, you don't get any XP. You see, like well, the looted XP is yeah, like three to hundred. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We have one XP. I was like, I was just running around. Like I was it's, like, okay, well, I can grind this XP, right? And I was, yeah, <laughs> I have zero yeah. missions available. I was like, Wait yeah, you sec. cannot grind <laughs> XP. That's the main thing. Yeah. So missions <laughs> get everything, and the subscription increases the amount of missions that you get and that stack, and that you get them faster. So this is their kind of main. Let's say energy mechanic, as as usual with Supercell, it's not the hard hard uh, stop mechanic where you can still play the game, but yeah. similar to Brawl Stars, where like if you run out of this whatever session juice, <laughs> you cannot <laughs> get much more progress. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good okay, one. So we have materials, uh, the mount, and then here we have some stats, which is. Yeah. Okay. But this is actually pretty good because you can see what's what's doing damage and what's not, and it's really important. For, really important for build uh, crafting. Okay, so I guess there are already builds on the internet that you can... Of course. Okay, yeah, of course. There definitely are. Yes, I'm not the hardcore what, uh, game. What do you think yeah. the odds are of having some rewarded ads in here? Slim to none? 
zero here, negative like, they would work pretty great i think honestly. here right for materials for sure uh, no 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 i mean XP. like in the whole game like the game can absorb ads definitely like it's just like but i mean in all, like in the screen you can yeah, in the screen also like yeah. of course okay could work here uh the thing is that keep in mind that this is outside of the supercell usual brand doers of like clash clash Clash, clash, game. clash game, okay. <laughs> yeah, not even Heyday, not even like all of their kind of main IPs, Brawl Stars. So this is a new IP again. So yeah, because I think Brawl Stars is is kind of branded in that Clash Wars. You have like, uh, yeah, you have their you the have, Clash yeah. universe yeah, yeah. characters, or even in Squad Busters. Also Squad Busters, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. So, so this is outside of it. Like I like again. We do know what's gonna happen. It's gonna get killed quite early. <laughs> <laughs> do you think it's going to get killed or do you think it's going to actually go to Man, the soft I have no idea what's going to happen now. Yeah, we like... can, we, uh, let's finish the mount and we can yeah. talk okay. about killing. Uh, <laughs> so you got the mount, haven't seen it yet. Turbo chicken looks Turbo really chicken nice. Like it's great. Okay, so... Can you use it? Go into... Yeah, some, yeah, some... here. But... You need to put the, get the ride. Yeah. Can you can you use it in the game? Go yes. from, to some map? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I will, don't worry. We'll see. No, I just... Uh... Yeah, so regarding the killing, um, so people understand there was Wait, this game. Yeah, just one one sec. So here's the this yeah, here's is the, the subscription the subscription you say it was you were talking about. So I need ten more. Uh, so let's try to find uh, this chest, chest somewhere in the uh, in the game with your new mount. Yeah. yeah, pick one where you have the chest icon there. Yeah, yeah. well, there's eight. I did not played this one yet, so. Okay, yeah. gonna have the, the mount. <laughs> yeah, there so in the meantime, um, so turbo chicken. <laughs> yeah, but, but it actually is pretty faster. <laughs> it is, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, uh, it's it says it's 50% faster. 50 faster. Yeah, this looks good. Nice. Okay. Yeah, which implies that there will be probably even more exploration, like bigger maps and bigger, bigger which stuff. is already something that annoys me quite. Help really because I hate open world the world's uh, <laughs> Love open experiences. World. <laughs> so there you go. Well, no, it's, uh, yeah. So let's talk about the the killing and the soft launching. So there was this year where Supercell announced three games on first April hmm. that everybody thought was a first April joke, but it wasn't. <laughs> when until, they until it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, until it wasn't. <laughs> when they announced Clash Mini, uh, Clash Quest, and Clash Heroes. So Clash okay. Mini is the auto chess game that is still in soft launch. They haven't Jesus, killed it yet. Jesus, Clash no. Quest was this kind of a puzzle game, uh, similar to some old Heroes IP PC games, where you would stack the things there. Yeah, it was a puzzle game. They killed it already. And then there's Clash Heroes that nobody heard anything about except that one video yeah. from a team, a Supercell team from Shanghai. And that was actually an action RPG based in Clash Universe. That seems, as a lot of people pointed out already, that it could be uh, the upgraded version of it. This this game. This game. Okay. Yeah, this game could be just like yeah. Well, you were talking <laughs> about feel. It, it was the the corpse of Clash. Yeah. Well, you, you were talking <laughs> about Heroes. something like Clash of Heroes um, assets used in uh, Flood Rush and uh, also Squad Busters, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, the, the, you know, we, we found out that they were there in, in Flood yeah. Rush. The, the golem and and like things yeah. they were there definitely. So maybe again, but yeah, this is like smart re reuse of assets. Like, oh, of course, me wrong. Like, this well, is how it should be done. Yeah, why wouldn't so, you do it? So that's good. Uh, the interesting thing is that they dropped the IP. That's that's what I'm kind of mm, curious okay. because there's no Clash IP anymore. So let's see. But yeah, as far as it goes, there it would mean that they are making an action RPG for like four years, three years already. Don't remember yeah. what was the announcement. Without a yeah. uh, huge success, right? Um, yeah, without even a soft launch. <laughs> yeah. So this this Don't is know, the, yeah. this is the thing. If they launched it similarly than what was it Everdale uh, on a different account and just launched it as a, as a normal soft launch, would you would you think like a stealth like, soft launch? Yes. Mm. Would you think they they would get better? Well, not better, but more relevant KPIs rather than just this like beta, because like what, the things like mm. what they are trying to get here like. The engagement of the the players feedback obviously from players i think also else? also like, this else? kind of uh, uh this kind of like community excitement for it i think you cannot like get how can you measure community game. excitement I, I, but how can you measure it seriously uh you look at all the videos of the creators that they put the keys into their hands and check the engagement on those 
Okay, guys. Uh, it's not very scientific. Yeah, huh? if you're listening, then uh, <laughs> give us the beta key. Give us the, no, 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 the beta keys. Well, I, I get the beta key, but uh, I mean the listeners and and viewers, please. Uh, uh, yeah, write what you think about that. If yes, you would be playing this. Put, put your comments into the comment section and uh, or hype, in hype the game. So hype the game, <laughs> so it's not it doesn't get killed. <laughs> Because yeah. you never know. No, because yeah, yeah, like I said, Felix, it's not very scientific. And like, what are you trying to to always like get with these like? They can just get much more betas. traffic. You know, under Supercell name, you get much more traffic. But that's the thing. Like, is it the relevant traffic? Because you know, like, yeah, oh, well, this is those Supercell are try hard. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. And you can't build um, basically a business case based on your like golden cohort. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's, so it's not even golden cohort. It's like fanatic cohort. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's diamond cohort. <laughs> <laughs> diamond exclusive plus. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. yeah exactly. So it's... <laughs> I, I don't know. know. Like, But keep in mind that this is so heavily social game that you need that kind of excitement for it. Because, uh, don't get me wrong, it's Supercell, like, I was, I was checking some of the things. Like, I think Supercell is doing very, very big kind of marketing part of their whole thing through the, the creators. Yes, that's true. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, we can we can so, see so, that already. It was... So their UA works a little bit differently, not only because it's organic, but organic, like, of course it's organic if you're paying so many YouTubers and so many <laughs> influencers <laughs> and stuff. Like, yeah, don't, don't talk, you know. Yeah, that's not it, organic. Like, it, it works different. Like, their whole kind of branding machine works different. It's not, like, I don't think so. There's anyone else on the market that have, like, a similar setup. No, definitely no. I mean, in, in the, mobile, the whole, there's only yeah. one supercell. Yeah, there's yeah. only one supercell. Like, if you look at the other side of the spectrum, like all the playerixes and like peaks and like these other guys, these are just spending millions on UA and with fake ads. More like than millions, everything. it's like yeah, yeah. hundreds yeah. of millions. Yeah. Millions, yeah, whatever. But these guys, the like, as, as Mati said, the channel diversification looks completely different. Yeah, and you can't even see it because you don't see the YouTube videos. But those videos are like two hundred k per each. Yeah, but this is like Clash of Clans, they sponsored a couple of uh, Mr. Beast videos as well. Like I, I was, yeah. I was looking at like uh, who's the guy, o Orange Juice Gaming, the guy who has like three million subscribers, and he's mm -hmm. like Clash Royale Brawl Stars video every single day with like two hundred k views for like also, I don't know how many years. Yeah, but also if you if you think uh, not that's just one guy. Yeah, if you if you watch uh, all of the the videos. Um, when these type of games are launched, like um, Squad Busters and also Flood Rush, there's like the same creators all over again. Yeah, of course. But, you know, these are paid or let's say they're, they work with Supercell because they can't yeah, just exactly, make a video yeah. during the day of the launch. Yeah, like, of course. Like, to yeah, prepare. They're very close. Yeah. Yeah. Friends and family, that's... That's yeah. what, what's happening here as well. So thank you guys. <laughs> friends with benefits. <laughs> friends with benefits, of course. Friends with benefits, but you like that's that's what you get. Like uh, yeah, but, get... but as I said, like the, their marketing machine just works different in a way. It's yeah. not that it doesn't exist; it works different. Yeah, so that that's maybe my case here. Why I think they would won't go through stealth mode like the Everdale and just go with kind of public stuff. Same same happened with Brawl Stars, by the way. If you remember, they did this kind of tournament with streamers and whatnot, and like. That's how they announced the game. It was also true when uh, when they launched the game, they had like I think they invited a lot of uh, streamers into the office and then just played tournaments and whatever. Uh, so here you go. So bitch, thank you very yeah. much. Three days. So so what, can you click on it one 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 second so we know what, what it does just for people listening to it. Um, so it increases the mission acquisition by every two hours instead of three. Yeah. It increases the maximum missions plus five stack, fifty percent more materials and <laughs> looted XP. Really, like you get Ooh, six you... instead of three. Okay. <laughs> no, I think four four point five <laughs> instead of three actually because it's really? fifty percent more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, loot but, magnet that collects loot for this it seems actually pretty handy. But that 50% more looted XP, but, that would maybe mean that you get much more XP later somewhere else. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see about that. Uh, but yeah. It shines pretty nice. Oh, well, there. unlocks. Unlocks at number uh, level 13. So it's actually, yeah, I need to grind to level 13 to unlock more worlds. Yeah. Um, I was here. Fuck! I was just here. And I have zero. I have no missions. One okay. one other that thing that I here. wanted to mention is that 
this game is actually <laughs> the closest one to Pet of Exile that I've seen oh on the market regarding RPGs. Because, and yeah, Upcoming wait a little event. bit, wait for it. Um, the character, like you have a character and it's just a character. Okay. It's a like... Let's, let's yeah let's 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 talk about it in in this in this screen, yeah, right? it's, yeah okay. it's a gadget holder pretty much your character doesn't have a skill tree or any affinity or nothing you can just put cosmetics on him that's his main difference so the whole build crafting is just based on what you equip on him and every character can equip everything which is basically kind of similar to Pedo of Excel, where every character can do everything because the skills are items that you can put on him similar to here here we have three slots for active skills let's call them gadgets so then three slots for one. passive skills uh and, and then one yeah, yeah. Socks, yeah and then one weapon slot for like the main weapon which determines your how do you call it the the, the weapon also determines if you range or dps oh yes. i'm melee Melee orange. Yeah. Yes. There's no right. armor or, or, or no. what not you? No, no yeah. armor. It's a uh, weapon, so the, active so gadgets the, and passive gadgets. And then where are the stuff. where are the defensive stats then baked in? Like spread around the thing? Yeah, well I guess. What's on your click on the weapon? Here you go. That's it, man. So you then, don't have any defensive stats no. then? No health, no okay, so then it means it's back into low. Well, we have uh health yes health uh hp is on the on the level so i had 1000 hp until like i got to i think a level 11 or 10 and then it mm -hmm. increased to one 1200 okay basically so this is this is this is my point like you have pet of exile where you have these like whatever super complex things and supercell comes in takes the system simplifies it makes it much more approachable and easy to play and that's the, that's their magic thing like you see it right here just compare this with Pet of Exile and see the translation, like how mechanics were changed and simplified. Yeah, no, but no, nobody will do that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually pretty deep then because it, it is, it, yeah, it, it, is. it gives you a very big amount of these like um, build crafting options where, as I said, like you can build like a healer character, a le little bit healer character, only DPS glass cannon, yeah. super tanky character, and just well. The them... thing is, like, how can you build tank if you have only HP on the on the level, uh, and you don't have? They will add items later. It's just that. Oh come on! Yeah, like why not? Sort of come on, man. Why not? <laughs> but but still, like you can build a tank even from these things that you have there. You just pick all the defensive items from there. Only like, yeah, defensive gadgets. Yeah, and, defensive gadgets yeah. or passive whatever. Like you can still build it even in current. Like I don't think so. It's a problem. You can even build it in current. <laughs> it's uh, building a tank is quite difficult at this stage, I think. Yeah, the problem but, with tank here, I don't think so. They have any aggro kind of catching things like taunting things or pretty much tank being able to take the attention of the monster. Yeah, no, no, no. That, no. That's the main thing that every tank should do. Not just yeah, which is not take damage. possible in here yet. Yet. But yeah, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. see. Um, the other thing that I had uh, some kind of a curiosity, I didn't see any gacha. Uh, no randomness. Well, isn't that the, the similar thing that you mentioned with the Squad Busters or Flood Rush? Well, I think Squad Busters was like... It was all like scripted. Kind of the Squad Busters now. was scripted, yeah. So, so maybe non gacha things get skilled. You think that's an active know. decision by Supercell, or you think it's something they'll add later? Like, I think it's active decision by Supercell in a way that uh, the whole experience seems kind of very smooth and scripted. The question is, what are the chase items in these games? Because the acquisition of items here is just like you get blueprints that drop, yeah, and then you and can then upgrade you can. them. And the, yeah, and the, even the upgrades are kind of streamlined into materials that you can directly farm for every single thing, because you don't have like the the feeling of like dropping the Diablo legendary is not yeah here. yeah it is not here yeah. not here at all and also like if I didn't read the the description after like on the like victory uh, screen I wouldn't even know I'm actually these these are all materials they're just dropping yeah yeah and, and that's the thing what? that. <laughs> you, you really aren't that excited like you've been like getting loads of materials like everybody wants to kind of get the chase item that drops from a boss or, or something yeah like something to to grind for this level like okay well i can drop legendary techno fists in here like oh well okay but i will just play all day to get those that would yeah. be great 
obviously. Yeah, yeah. so this is a, like a little bit of concern for me, like how the monetization, like the main monetization will work in this game. Like, of course, the subscription sounds good, like that. that's, that's great, but the subscription isn't, I guess, your main like money maker. Like even no, if well, you look at the... If you're a supercell, it could be. Oh, don't get me wrong. Like, it's the biggest discount in your economy, to be honest. Like, these all subscriptions. Like, if you look into court papers from uh, Epic suing Apple, mm. the Battle Pass revenue is something like 16%. The shop mm. is actually 70% of yeah, the revenue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it means that, like, you know, you don't... Even Battle Passes, Battle Passes don't make money. They trade monetization for retention. You, you it's your yeah, yeah. going to gym card. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> So yeah, I'm I'm kind of curious if this would like, what, what, if 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 it will be even pay to win in a way like power progression based that you can just buy raw power here. Can you? Yeah, but then what what do you progress like uh, for this like? Couple? Because the main think... thing main thing that you get is the missions. Honestly, yeah. because when you have the missions, it means you get XP, you get more level, then you exactly. unlock everything else. Yeah, and then I'm then trying to find like which roads still. Have a mission, so I can actually get some additional XP. XP because if I if I just loot, then it's yeah, you can still get the materials, heavy. but that's it. Like yeah, but that's it. Like new I mean, content, yeah. Yeah. true. And then I can kind of like upgrade to get more XP. Like, uh, but it's that's also quite annoying. You know, it's something that I'm really excited about. The like guy can I can see them selling the universal cubes. They have this kind of universal material currency in the game, which can supplements every material that you're missing in the current weapon upgrade. That is yeah. good, and I, there's like a very streamlined solution to selling power here. But again, if even I buy all those cubes and upgrade everything that I have, I still need more XP because it kind of locks me out after my level kind of hits the cap there. Yeah. Hmm. Well, kind of. I mean, it's not a bad game. It's just like... If no, 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 I'm not saying the bad game. I'm just kind of concerned a little bit that it can uh, remove that one of the main staples of action RPG that you have that legendary drop, legendary whatever. It's the same in like Path of Exile, Lost Ark, even Diablo, like everywhere there's like you're going after raids or bosses and you're grinding for some items. For something, yeah. For drop. Something. Yeah. Because here, what's dropping from the rates other than the mount that one unlocks? The Just XP. material. XP and materials. Yeah, okay. You, you you finish the raid until like, what, like two minutes, then you get more XP. Uh, yeah, because the, like for me, like, personally, and like I think it's going to apply generally, uh, RPGs are only as good as their itemization is. Yeah. If the itemiz itemization sucks and like the items aren't kind of... The loot, it's, it's about a loot Skinner box mechanic where you <laughs> want to have the loot. That, that's the thing. And if the loot isn't really appealing or it's not really kind of tempting you to go there and farm it and drop it and have that kind of legendary Yeah, that's the thing, like the and, motivation. If... Yeah, motivation drops heavily then because then it becomes just a chore. In yeah. A way. Mm. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I'm trying to find these like two hand slashes just to get more XP, but honestly, that's it basically. Now, then I can just stop and then wait until new missions pop Comes up and then, and then, yeah, and I yeah. can I can play again. Remo, like when you launch these games like this before a soft launch, why would you not want to have the monetization mechanisms in there? For me, that's a bit of a mystery. Because of the engagement. Uh, only on the other hand, it's uh, just, It doesn't uh, really yeah. tell you anything, right? Mm, yeah. <laughs> the thing is that, you know, you need to reset people's progress and you don't want to deal with these things for now. Mm. Because yeah. if you have monetization, it means that they will buy something and then you need to scrap it away and give it back to them, blah, blah, blah. It's not really the like, optimal way how to do this. Like, action RPGs aren't really soft launchable, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's the problem. The other big problem here, as like all the other action RPGs or like big RPGs, there's some kind of reset happening every now and then because there's very low kind of entry points for new players. So to get a little bit clear, if I'm playing this for, let's say, one year and I have my character decked out, what's the chance of someone else coming into and catching up to me? Like, zero. So the thing is that a lot of these RPGs, they have reset mechanics where, let's say, Path of Exile, the league, the main league, resets every three months. You can play the like Vanilla mm. League or whatever, the, the, the one that no one plays and it never resets, but like 
Yeah, everybody just played the new league. Diablo adopted the same system. Even even before like Diablo 2 had the ladder system. Don't get me wrong. Because it's it's problematic. Like once you level up the characters, you catch up to the content. Players are always faster than the content in action RPGs or in RPGs like altogether. And you somehow need to to create an entry point for new players. Like even World of Warcraft does it like that. Like every expansion they can inflate away your progress because whatever going from old world of Warcraft to burning crusade from 60 to 70 the items were exponentially better meaning that whatever random blue items on level 61 could kill a fully decked out epic character on 60 and people were going crazy because of that but that's that's the healthy way to do it mm. and this game then will have the same problem somewhere down the line so the question oh, is how will they very solve far it? From, we are very yeah, far they're very from far from point. it of course but but they will eventually run into it so positive, man. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of focusing on the fun game ahead of you, you're focusing on the problems of next year. Yeah, <laughs> because that's like, vectors. Look, because yeah. that's something that's gonna, you know, kill, no, gonna kill it, the obviously. game or no. It's like that's that's the thing. Yeah. But the game's really smooth. Like for Can me. Can we just seems... say something about the artwork as well? I think it's yeah, the art from yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did yeah. such a great job on it. Super that. cell quality as usual, yeah. very, very like knocked it out of the park. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like Honestly, heads off. Like, seriously, this is like so, like, super high. Um, it's a joy to level. look at. It's entertaining to look at. Yeah. You can tell it's a supercell game just by looking at it in a way how polished and how kind of remarkably done are the graphics. Yeah. yeah the graphics are great, obviously. Uh, even without the supercell IP. Yeah. Like if we compare this to Floodrush, it's like, for like one, yeah. one <laughs> to like 100. Yeah. Quality. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is something I kind of like liked, uh, but this is way better, obviously. But keep in mind, they probably work on this much more in years than Frold Rush. Mm, do you think so? Yeah, yeah, as I said, like if they took, you know, all the things from uh, Clash Heroes, then mm, okay. a much bigger head start for this one. Fair enough. Well, yeah. still. I'm just guessing, of course, but like, yeah. Let's yeah, see. we will never know. It's a person. We'll right. never know. It's like, that's how it works. Are you going to die now? No, maybe. <laughs> Where's where's my friends? Jesus. No, yeah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna die. Okay. Great. It's fine. They will they will support me, I guess. Yeah, but 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 the gameplay and like everything looks pretty good. It's even um like the other problems that RPG has is RPG had that they turn into this kind of disco thing when there's like multiple players playing, and I don't think so is the case here. It yeah. is still pretty clear what's happening on the screen which a lot of action RPGs suffer from, where you have like so many effects, so many things kind of happening, and then you lose track of your character, where it is in the crowd, blah, blah, blah. And like, yeah. Yeah, All right. the Out readability of... is not, not good. All right, percentage likelihood uh, that you think this will go to global launch, Oof. as it is right now. I think the, the likelihood increases in the last few months when they killed all the other things because they need to release something. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. Do they really need to release something? I mean, it would be nice. I haven't checked the latest financials on, on Supercell, like what's the like where their game's heading. But my guess is like either I don't know. I don't know. Just don't want to guess it. You don't want to guess it. Like I think like this has like forty percent chance it's uh, it's get, getting global launched, which is probably higher what you gave them Flood Rush, right? So yeah, yeah. that's true. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I would go even higher to be honest. Every time you go 45? higher, every time you go higher, then like it gets killed. <laughs> yeah, I would go maybe even sixty. Oy, 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 oy. Oy. Six uh, out of ten. I know. I, I know six out of ten. Sixty percent. Sixty percent. No, okay. I have ninety percent chance that I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Uh, or maybe not. But the game's really deep, like because you can put multiple combinations of the gadgets there like similar to Pad of Exile kind of very very good skill building they literally took the same mechanic there um, yeah it has very very solid core much I would guess that Clash Heroes didn't have this before like would need to kind of scour the trailer or see see through it like how it was built but don't think so they have this oh Ultras will get angry soon <laughs> time, time to leave yeah <laughs> time and on that leave. note uh, should we uh yeah, I think we can, uh, yeah, we can wrap we can, it. Yeah, we can wrap it up in here. Yeah. Um, again, thank you very much, Supercell, for giving us the the friends and family access. Uh, really enjoyed it. Thank you, thank you all. 
and didn't get yeah please don't kill this game oh well i mean you can do whatever you want um obviously um you're also, super you can do whatever you want exactly <laughs> Um, also thank you oh jesus Christ. okay fuck it. so uh <laughs> you can see the three of us actually uh in ignite on thursday in berlin followed by the three of us in Hit game conference in berlin the following week yeah so, and then around. And following then, the two of us in korea yeah, in korea <laughs> in uh the week after ah, okay and so then following we're... another week the two of us at roviocon <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly it's gonna be a lot of interesting we don't want to uh... be the three of us together too many times because it's just yeah. supposed to be unique still <laughs> yeah 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 uh, so please subscribe share the oh it didn't die great <laughs> oh now i do now we did <laughs> so uh yeah please share this, uh the podcast with your industry friends um dogs and cats dogs and cats as well obviously and then uh see you next time cheers Ciao. Yep. see you bye, -bye. those five minutes to double check don't, the, don't worry don't worry the the screen <sighs> okay. on my macbook is fine and here it's a little bit looks like shit on the screen share yeah but it's kind of working on, on my on my macbook is, is working quite well on the screen share it's not actually but you will have a high 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 quality upload yeah oh uh, for sure Okay. You can try if you want. Well, on my MacBook is quite quite okay. And it's the screen share basically. So let's see. But now, mm. yeah, I mean the the quality looks like shit, but it's. Uh, but it will be in the edit, like the the good one. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, now now it's even better. Okay. So we have raids. I couldn't finish this one because it was really hard. <laughs> you know, it closes next Monday, right? The servers. Yeah, sixth, sixth is it? Yeah. Yeah. What? What's close? At six, the beta ends. Yeah, beta yeah. ends. Oh, Plenty of time. Yeah, keep in mind that on third, the this week's Friday, the Rumble opens. Yes. So we're gonna play that one. Yes, that's for sure. That's for sure. Let's see. Um. Okay, so what do we, what do you want me to do actually? Yeah, I guess going back to the main menu. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Or to the room as they have it. Like okay. this whole kind of a positioning of the menu seems odd okay so okay here's, printer here's printer go to printer and click on these other light left things no it's uh it's all in here it's just uh sorting okay so weapons then weapons. gadgets active gadgets and passive gadgets, gadgets. That's it. okay this is by the way very close to pad of exile i'll talk about that oh nice okay because there's so, like the character doesn't have uh, like his own natural things. You just equip whatever you want to him, and you build him like you want him. Ah, okay. So that's better exile. That's better exile. That's true. Okay. So I have to finish exactly in one hour. Eleven four. Uh, Twelve forty. Yeah. yeah, that's. Yeah, no yeah. worry. We won't go for hour. Go uh, for what's hour. the what's the thing with monitor like going up? It's just that you can upgrade something that's later. Printer. Yeah. Here? Okay. That's, yes. that's, yeah. 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 That's, that's yeah you can upgrade. Arrow. Yeah, okay. Okay. Close this one. I, I know these like already. Like watched yeah, like a you. three hour video. Okay, go to shop. There's nothing in there, basically. So just this one page, yeah. Boosters which you can Yeah, yeah. and the plus subscription. This called Okay. Okay, cards. go out of this one. Go into the storage. All this. Mm hmm Okay, there's nothing there. Go to go to gear. Oh, this is pretty you much skins. Oh no no, this is bolt. This is bolt. bolt. Go to outfit. Mm, okay, okay, okay. So go out of this. Go out of this. Like I know this one. The Oops, the menu on I the. Go back to gear. Yep. What's the thing on the right? This is the like fort. This is the weapon. This, this is, is the main weapon. You can have only one of that. Yeah. Yes. 
Then you have three slots for gadgets, active for or active passive. gadgets, and then you have passive gadgets here. Oh, oh so passive gadgets are extra slots. Yes. So, so passive, like free for passive, this is something that you can get in. Ah, oh, well, this that, is the that's mount. the mount. Yeah, that's, that's the, the mount. mount. Yeah, that's the mount. Mm -hmm. And you have then free for passive. So gadgets. three slots for passive. Three slots. That's three pretty active, good deck yeah. slot, actually. Yeah. I thought it would be less. Okay. But you cannot equip it because it needs level... Level 15 think. and then level 35. I'm okay. level 11 now. So and it's go, like it's quite slow. Go actually. to those like under your level uh, icons. The, the, no, no, under yeah, it. There is lobby. Yeah, that one. So okay, so this up. is just social lobby. Okay. Yes, and then these are achieve achievements and projects or whatever. But these are basically the missions. Aren't they? Mm, I've got three weapons to power four. So you where get... are the where are the missions that the plus subscription talks about that you get more missions per hour? Yeah, so in, in, it's in, in the here, portal. In the portal, so you have missions here under each each world, which is kind of annoying, and we should talk about this on the podcast actually. Yeah, because there's no like single list of like quests to do. Mm, okay, thought so. Oh, so just those orange numbers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Scroll a little bit. Soul Trial Shrine, Raid, Dragon, Link City. And then Raid again. So one Hunter versus Hunter, which is level 50. Interesting. Hunter versus Hunter. That seems like it's PvP. PvP. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Didn't find any other PvP. Uh, now it looks like they added this uh, bats, which is... Contacts here, well, obviously. Yeah, the Discord is spammed with QR codes of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, go back to that portal. One, one more thing. And go to raids. I just want to see the menu there. So we have raids. Uh, this is the raid I have actually at the moment. Okay. So that then the most trial, and then you need to, you know, you need to complete all of these until you get to nightmare yeah. basically. Did you also see that there was an age gate when you logged in the first time? Yeah, I think was so. There was like slider for it. There was slider doing, for like, it. Yeah, a slider for the age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was there. Also, there was... Um... Ads! Oh. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, there was also a questionnaire, a few yeah, questions. Yeah, there was a questionnaire, yeah. I've seen it. Like on scale 1 to 5, like how do you like it, blah, 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 what do you play? If you play mm -hmm. Yeah, if I play different games. What's the guy telling you in the in the bottom? Nothing. You can just pet him? Yeah, I can pet my, my cat. Cat. Uh, like half the people in the videos are fucking half the way. Really?